Welcome to the show. Hold on, guys. Wait a second. All right, we're live. We're ready. We're live. Check it out. So I'm excited today. Uh, something that I really like to talk about. We'll get to that. But first, if you need to drink more water, the best way to do it is to have, instead of a small cup, have a large cup near you at your desk. When you go to the gym, get a bigger bottle, use bigger cups. Availability, right? If it's here, you're going to drink it. If it's here, you're going to drink it. So make it available. Make more available. And water. Water is life, dude. What are we, 70% water? Drink your water, man. Stop slacking. Your skin's going to be better. You're going to be brighter. You're going to have more energy. Uh, namaste. Yeah. Namaste. Namah. Nama, namaste, water. All right, back to what we were talking about. Um, let me just, I need to gather this. So, the first time I ever remember that I experienced all was when I first saw the picture of that the Hubble telescope took. It took a picture in the night sky, just a little little spot in the night sky, and it was what looked to be thousands and thousands of stars was actually thousands and thousands of galaxies. And when I saw this, my mind was shattered, right? I was I was shattered, dude. I mean any convictions and stuff that I had, when I placed them against my level of importance. When I saw this, dude, it reminded me. I realized that I am one planet in one of these galaxies that the Hubble telescope took in just a small little spot in the midnight sky. That was mind-shattering to me because it's so egotistical, I realized, for me to place myself above, above others, to give myself value to say that I'm right, that you're wrong, that my religion's the way to go, yours is wrong, that your beliefs are stupid, that mine are right. I couldn't. I mean, everything that I had believed compared in contrast to what I was seeing didn't add up, right? My, I'm just a pale blue dot suspended in a beam of light. Like Carl Sagan says, and life just was fascinating. I was fascinated not to know what this is all about. How could there be so much? I'm just a grain of sand. I'm just a cell in the scheme of the universe, of the great unknown, this void. What am I? What is my purpose? I, for so long, I thought that I had purpose. And then compared to what I was seeing, I don't know if I have any purpose in this. And for a long time, when I let go of the belief of God, my I can tell you guys the scariest thing was my hope. I had, uh, because for so long God was the reason, it was my purpose, it was my hope in life. I knew a direction because I would always have Him. I would always have a reason. And shortly after I did, I, I felt myself being depressed. I, well, if there is no God, then what is the purpose of this life? What do I, how is there right or wrong? How, uh, you know, what am I now? Do I care about morals? Do I care about virtues? Or people would ask me, well, if you don't believe in God, how can you be moral and just and be kind and care about, well, that's for a different talk. But, you know, as I went on, I started to say, I don't know. I don't know what this whole thing is. I don't have everything figured out. And one thing that gave me hope, that gave me a sense of fulfillment, of that I don't have to fear. I don't have to fear not knowing. I think a lot of people, it, it's scary not to know. We want to be certain. We are creatures that seek certainty. It scares us to be uncertain about things. And God, for a lot of people, is an answer to the uncertainty. And as I kept going and thinking and diving into multiple books and philosophy and that stoicism and, and just different ways of thinking, and science and you know scientists say that we are made out of carbon hydrogen oxygen oxygen nitrogen chan it's 
one of that's a great band by the way, Chan. And we are made out of the same stuff that the stars are made of. Created out of the same stuff that the universe, the materials of the universe. We are, in a sense, a piece. We are the universe, guys. And and when I realize that I am the same stuff, I'm not separated from the whole. You see, I'm not separated from the whole, all this that's going on. And I started to think and, and confirm that I believe in the universe, right? And if the universe does what it wants, if it is doing itself, I don't know what it's doing. But as long as the universe is doing whatever it wants, if there's a hurricane and it hits my house today, if my mother dies, if my father dies, if my family's wiped out, you know, if, if my best friend leaves me, if my, my dog dies and it's hit today and I lose my job and I end up on the street, then everything will be okay. Because I am not separated from the whole. No, I'm a part of it. And the universe will do what it wants. So I could now arise from the depression of not knowing, of being scared of the unknown, and I could create. I think it was Nietzsche, but if there is no purpose, then make it up. And I didn't know my purpose, but I was going determined because just because I lost a belief, was I going to lay down and rot? Was I going to lay down and die? No, I was going to create something that gave me purpose to get up in the morning. Guys, I ask that, you know, it's it, losing a belief or, or not being sure what the purpose is or not being sure of what all this is, is it's mind blowing. It can be depressing. It can be confusing. But it's also inspiring. It's also a relief to think that I am, I don't know. I love saying I don't know because who knows? We get filled with all these concepts and ideas and, and we want to label everything, but none of us really know, right? I'm part of the whole. I am the universe experiencing itself. I often have asked, what if, you know, what are we? What we are, in a sense, the universe experiencing itself. We've labeled it a universe. Maybe some other consciousness somewhere else has labeled it something else. But for now, I observe the surroundings. I observe the earth and everything that I see and learn. I am an observer. So be the observer. Make discoveries, guys, within your life and your consciousness. And keep going. It is beautiful to be alive. To be able to observe this once in 70, 80, 90 years that you may be alive. That's it. That's the rant. Share with me your feelings of all. What has inspired you? What has shaken your beliefs and revolutionized your mind? Guys, diving deep. Can I go to hello? <laughs> See you guys soon.